We live and breathe AI technology in the 21st century, from smart home assistants such as Alexa and Siri, to navigation apps, vacuum cleaners, and even hyper-advanced facial recognition. But as the research progresses, one question remains constant. What happens when AI becomes conscious, and is it even possible? Humans could become replaceable, and that's obviously a threat. Conscious AI is often portrayed in sci-fi literature and films, and while many would love to see the development of human-like robots, it is a highly ambitious goal. Consciousness means to me is that an AI would be able to think, so we would build machines that can think. We would also build machines that are as smart as humans, or maybe even smarter in the long term. When or if those machines could actually be developed, however, is still up for debate. Some researchers predict that this may happen in 20 years, others predict this may happen in 100 years, some predict this may never happen. So while the world waits for AI to become conscious, what are AI scientists actually working towards? Professor Glauner says most researchers aren't working on building conscious AI. I don't think a lot of us uh, in AI really care about it. Most of us in the community, we're just busy shipping code and solving real problems and turning theory into practice. And I think that's already a big challenge. This includes work on developing new drugs and vaccines, utilizing AI machines in manufacturing, or even in removing landmines. AI is extremely helpful nowadays because it improves our lives. And I think that's what most of us in the community focus on. We focus on building AI that adds value. While consciousness may be a sci-fi dream for some, there is an argument that artificial sentience is achievable. This is where an AI machine has the capacity to express believable emotions or feelings. In 2018, Google showed off its Google Assistant through its then duplex feature. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. The AI was able to call a hair salon to book an appointment and passed off as a human. Sure, give me one second. Mm -hmm. But what about a more advanced personal assistant, such as a robot who is self-aware and expresses independent thinking? We would need much more complex models. We would probably also have to understand how the human brain works and try to emulate this. And we would need computational models that are far beyond what we have nowadays. I think we are still um, many decades away from achieving consciousness, and I don't think it will happen in my lifetime. And what if humans did achieve the unthinkable? and developed AI that can think and feel for themselves. Professor Glauner says it would be a whole different ballgame. The potentials are that we build extremely powerful AI models that would also make our life easier, that would support us, that makes sure we have a longer and a healthier life, and what makes our work easier, or adds productivity to companies. But it's also a scenario which brings up a lot of unknowns. That would be the last big invention made by humans, because from then on, you would have an AI that is maybe smarter than humans, and it can just use ever stronger computers to further improve itself and keep innovating. And we as humans, we would sort of be out of the game. Um, and what are we going to do then? Are we going to be unemployed? Will the AI turn evil? We don't know. So, while we wait to see when our robot counterparts explore emotional intelligence, do you actually want to see AI with human feelings roaming the world? Or are you just content asking Alexa to turn off the lights? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.